Hey guys, in this video, we will be reupholstering these two mini stools. These are a pair of stools from my friend. I told her I wanted to do a DIY project and incorporate some leather and she literally threw these at me because I mean, look at them. I don't know how long she has had these little things, but they need a makeover and I'm gonna be the one to give them that makeover. I feel like adding a touch of hair on hide would be perfect for these. So yeah, let's get started. If you have never reupholstered anything, the beauty of doing projects like this is that you already have the bones, you already have the meat of the project. Literally, you're just tweaking a couple things to enhance the style of what's already created. So what I'm gonna do here is just take my screwdriver and take out these little screws, which keeps the cushion portion attached. You can also use an electric screwdriver, which is what I ended up using just to make my process go by a little faster. Take these screws out and then we can really get to the bare bones of these stools. So depending on a piece of furniture, you might want to reupholster. Just look at it from end to end and see where the opening is. There is always an opening somewhere. So this is basically how you would reupholster anything. It doesn't matter if you don't have these stools. Whatever you own in your home, just look at it from top to bottom and see exactly where the opening and or closure is. Now that I have removed the cushion from the base, I'm just gonna take this screwdriver, this flathead screwdriver and pick out all of these staples. There's staples from this fabric to the other fabric and it's all attached to, I'm pretty sure it's a piece of wood. Yes, it's a piece of wood. So we're just gonna move all of these staples so that we can take off this cover and replace it. Now granted, I can be lazy and do a half A job and just leave these staples in here, but I don't want them to interfere with the new staples that I'm gonna put down. So I want this area to be as smooth as possible. So we're just gonna remove every piece that we can possibly remove and start with a clean slate. I don't care how old the piece of furniture is, you want it to feel like new. That's the purpose of reupholstering. Now that we have that mess out the way, I'm gonna lay out this beautiful exotic hair on hide. It is so, so pretty. Um, I wanna lay it out on the front side or the top side, um, top side facing up because I wanna see where the spots are. That's exactly where I want to cut my piece for the stools. Typically, I would cut it on the wrong side, you know, trace everything out on the wrong side, but I wanna see exactly what I'm cutting. So I'm gonna take that old little raggedy piece of fabric and essentially use it as my pattern piece. I want it to be the same exact size as what was on the stool previously, so this is a good piece to work with. So I'm just gonna cut this piece out onto our leather. I'll do the same thing with the lining that's gonna go on the opposite side. I am cutting on the floor, if you noticed. Not in my design room, way too many projects on my design room table. So it pushed me to the floor for this one. So I'm just gonna cut this out and then we can move on to the more exciting parts of the project. But the one last thing we have to cut out is our fabric for the bottom of the furniture, which is a cambric fabric. This is used for most furniture pieces at the bottom or underneath. So I'm gonna use the original piece and use that as a pattern essentially to cut out my new piece. Once I have two pieces of that, I'm gonna actually double mine up. This, the one that was on the original piece of furniture was this single little flimsy piece. So I'm just gonna double mine so it's a little thicker, has a little more stability. So these are the pieces and or the layers that go in between the fabric and the frame. It's just um, a, pieces, a couple pieces of cushion and some foam and a piece of wood, just in case you wanted to see how it looked. Not the cutest, but we're gonna make it cute. By taking our cut hair on hide piece, I'm just gonna lay that down and then take the same layers of cushion and wood that I just showed you and place that on top, making sure everything is centered and even. What we're gonna do is take one side of our hide and our heavy duty staple gun and securely staple this side into place. You don't wanna do too many staples first. We just wanna make sure one side is down before we start working with the other sides. Thank you. 
After we have one side staple, you can then move on to the opposite side. The only difference with this side is that you're gonna pull your fabric as much as possible before you staple it into place. That'll prevent it from buckling or being too loose. You want this fabric to be as tight on this cushion and wood as possible. Before I move on to the corners, I'm just going to go ahead and check my work so far just to make sure everything is tight and that it looks or it's placed exactly where I want it to be. The corners will start to get a little tricky, especially in working with this hide because it's thick. The last thing you want to do is staple down your corners, but the edges are really bulky and poking out. You don't want that. You want your corners to look as seamless and as smooth as possible so i'm just going to take my time with this and kind of work and rework all these sections and then i'll add my final staples to finish everything off before i attach the closure fabric all right so the last thing we want to do is take our cambric fabric and cover up the bottom because as you can see the bottom is looking crazy we don't want it to stay like that. So this cambric fabric is really lightweight. All you'll do is make it look extremely neat. So I'm gonna fold each corner and staple that going around. And I'm gonna start in the middle just because I still have to curve or I still have to turn the edge of this area. So I'll start in the middle of the side and then start to go around. You wanna make sure that all the areas that are puckered in are completely hidden. We don't want any of that hanging out. It should look clean. And this is how our bottom looks now that everything is complete, stapled and secure. It's beautiful and it's neat. It's not crazy looking how it was initially. So we're just gonna take our frame and push our cushion into place because there are some little indentions that we have to be mindful of. This is also why I wanted to make sure our corners were not bulky or sticking out because they would have not fit in this frame properly. Everything is securely in place, then you can just add your screws. Make sure they are put back in the exact areas that we took them out of. Did mark the placement for my screws off camera, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So there you have it. That is our final project. These are the reupholstered stools. At this point, I really really just want to keep them for myself. I mean, the hair on hide is so freaking beautiful, but I know my friend is now dying to have them back. She was dying to give them up, but I know she'll want them back. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this project. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.